Allison. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this week I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite products from Lush. Now, if you haven't heard of Lush before, it's one of my favorite stores because it is natural, fresh, handmade cosmetics and skincare. Most of the products that I have here today to share with you are skincare related. Um, the cosmetics section of the store is actually really small, so I think it's funny that they market themselves as cosmetics. Um, so, because they're mainly skincare and like bath things, um, you probably have heard of their bath bombs. They're like super popular for those. Um, but I like some of their other products a little better, so I thought I would share some of those with you guys today. So, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. The first product I wanted to share with you guys is one of my absolute favorite things from Lush, and I wanted to share it with you first because I feel like it really embodies Lush as a company really well, and that is their Charity Pot Lotion. I love this lotion because, first of all, 100% of the proceeds from all of the sales of this specific lotion goes directly to grassroots charities. Um, and also, the ingredients in here are fair trade ingredients. And what that means is that in order for Lush to like take the cocoa butter um, from a tribe, they go in and they make sure that the women who make the cocoa butter are actually getting the money that Lush pays for the cocoa butter. Um, so that's really nice, and then also all the proceeds from this go directly to charity. So I think that this is just an awesome product, ethically, and I also love it because it's super, super hydrating. It has cocoa butter and shea butter and extra virgin olive oil. No, just regular olive oil in it. Um, so it's super, super hydrating, but it's not crazy. And I love to use this on my legs after I shave. I just feel like it's a nice little finish. Um, I also love to use this on my feet because it helps a lot with calluses, and it also has the rainbow oil in it. Moringa oil actually helps with any sort of discoloration in the skin. It's also a tightening agent, so it can help with like cellulite and stuff like that. Um, and because it helps with discoloration, it can help with like scars and stretch marks. And so I love to put this on my knees because my knees have always been super dry and discolored. And I also have a scar on my knees, um, which is a long story, but the short version is I cut myself on a doorknob. Um, but I've been using this on my knees a lot, and my scar's almost gone now. So I really, really love this product, not just because it's a great product to invest your money into, but it also works really, really well. The next product I'm going to share with you guys is actually one of the first products I ever purchased at Lush, and that is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I love this. It has fine and coarse sea salt in it, so you get a nice exfoliation in it. Um, it also has lime-infused vodka, and what that does is the vodka it has toning properties, so that helps to like shut your pores off and make sure no more dirt and oil get in there. And then the lime is citrus, so it's very brightening. Um, and I love this. I use it like once or twice a week, and I've been using it for like over a year now, and I really, really love it. And now sticking with the exfoliation theme, I want to show you guys a lip scrub. Lush has a ton of lip scrubs, but my favorite is the mint lips one um, because I love minty things, especially around my mouth, um, probably because I'm used to minty toothpaste. But I love this guy because it's minty. Um, it also, it's like slightly chocolatey, which I'm not a huge chocolate person, but the mint is strong enough that like, the chocolate part is okay. Um, it's a lip scrub, so what you do is you just rub it all over your lips and then it's sugar based, so then you just lick it off. Um, so that's fun. So it's fun to use and also the um, results are really nice. Like if you ever have like scaly lips, I really recommend you use this. Um, yeah, I love it. And then after I use the lip scrub, I always follow up with my favorite lip balm and that is the Honey Trap Lip Balm from Lush. I love this. I used um, the EOS Eds for a really, really long time. And then one day I was at Lush and this was up by the register. And so I grabbed it, it was an impulse buy and I thought, hey, you know, you can never have too many lip balms. And since that day, I have never used another lip balm. Um, I never realized how dry my lips were until they weren't dry anymore from this guy. I love it. It's beeswax based, and then it also has shea butter in it, so that's a really nice touch. Um, it's super lightly scented, and it just feels so good on my lips. Another face product I want to share with you guys is this Grease Lightning Tea Tree Cleanser. It's marketed as a cleanser, but it's really more of a serum. Um, and so what I do with this, I use it every night after I wash my face. What I do with this is I just spray a little in my hand and I pat it into like this zone right here. I call it the Biore strip zone. So just like on my nose and then into my like inner cheek area um, because this has tea tree oil in it. It's a pretty high concentration of it. 
So if your skin is really dry, I definitely wouldn't recommend this. Um, but I first got this one because it's it's meant to be a spot treatment for like pimples and stuff. Um, the tea tree is an antiseptic, and so what that does is it like completely dissolves dirt and oil. And I used to have like really deeply embedded blackheads and huge pores on my Biore strip zone. Um, and so when I read about this guy, I thought, well, blackheads are just dirt and oil smushed down in my pores. So I got this guy, and I started using it here to get rid of my blackheads, and it's like nine months later and they're completely gone. And my pores are like half the size that they used to be. So I'm so in love with this guy. Um, and Lush, their products are not prescriptive and they're not like super clear about how you're supposed to use them, which I think is kind of cool because that way you can just take a product and use it however it works best for you, which is what I did with this guy. And now it's in a favorites video. So thumbs up for Lush on that. And then another thing I want to show you, I think this is the last like facial product I have, and that is the Cupcake Face Mask. Um, this is the product that first brought me into Lush because I watched a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people were talking about how this mask helps a lot with oil and acne. And so I went to Lush and I picked it up and let me tell you, that was a couple years ago. I used it once or twice a week ever since and since the first time I used this mask, I think I've had maybe, maybe one breakout. So I really love this mask. I preach it to everyone. I'm not sure exactly what's in it other than like cocoa powder and it looks and smells like a chocolate cupcake. Like it kind of looks like poop, but it smells like a chocolate cupcake, chocolate cupcake batter. Uh, and again, I'm not a huge chocolate lover, but I love this mask. And then I wanted to share with you guys a product which I think I might have talked about last week, but I love it enough and I'm gonna talk about it again this week. And that is the Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease Hair Treatment. I love this guy. What you do is you just put it all over your hair and you leave it for 20 minutes and then you go in and you like shampoo and condition your hair as usual. I love this. It helps a lot with frizz because the henna in this actually seals the cuticle shut on each individual strand of hair. So it helps a lot with frizz and it smells like jasmine, which is one of my favorite smells. So that's why I like this. And next I want to share with you guys some of my favorite soap from Lush. This is a teeny tiny piece of the maple soap. I'm almost out of it, but I love it so much. It has, it's, well first of all, all of their soaps are really pretty to look at. I think this is like the prettiest one. You can't really tell because my piece is almost gone, but it starts out as like a circle and it, on the outside it's pink and on the, on the inside it has like these little green flakes in it. It's just so pretty and it smells so good. It's like, it's like a sweet mint flavor, scent, scent, don't eat this. It's a sweet mint scent. And I'm not a huge like sweet person, but I love, 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 love this soap. It smells so good. It's a hand and body soap. I love to keep it on my bathroom sink and then I just need to wash my hands with it. And it's so, oh, it smells so good. And it's like, you know how a lot of like bar soaps will like strip your skin and like it'll feel really dry? This stuff doesn't do that. And it smells really good, which I've said that a lot, but it's a really important factor when you're choosing soap. And then the last product I'm going to share with you guys is the Comforter Bubble Bar. Um, I only have half of it because I've already used half of it. Um, this is my favorite bubble bar from Lush. Um, and what bubble bars do is you like crumble them under running water and you swish it around. And as the water runs over the pieces, it just creates a ton of bubbles. So you use this to take a bubble bath. Um, it's super cool. It smells really good. It's like kind of like a lavender vanilla-y scent. Um, I love it. It makes so many bubbles and it's so relaxing. It's my favorite thing to use when I put that. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed these Lush products. If there are any Lush products that you think I should try, definitely let me know. I'm in the store all the time. It's almost embarrassing how much I'm in there. Um, and I do use more of their products than this, but these are just some of my favorites. So if you have any favorites that are not in this video, definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me what they are and maybe I'll try them. I try them and I know I'll love them too. Leave me a comment down below also if there's any videos that you want to see me make. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. You could create another Lushy in the world and we can never have too many of those. Alright guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!